everyone, welcome back to another episode of Detective Grimoire. I'm Gracie, um, and we left off here at uh, this question, are we really talking about a swamp creature? Um, so it's been a little bit since I picked this game up. Um, I've just been doing a lot of editing, a lot of recording, and also just trying to uh, live my life and enjoy things. So been a little while, but I have been getting some good feedback about this series, so I definitely wanted to keep it going, and I know you guys are curious about how this is going to end, uh, so we're going to get just right back into it. So, I found in my office explains what was hidden inside. I brought with me this proves that I found in the trash can't explain what. Um, I do remember we found costume design. I believe we found in the trash. The costume design I found in the trash can explain what could explain what the black and white photo is of. Uh, Ever Existed was doing last night is showing me smells like Ever Existed. See, yeah, something I noticed is that these statements are definitely like real sentences that make sense so you know when I start to put things together if, if the sentence doesn't make sense I definitely know that, that that's not the right train of thought that I'm in so um, let's see the costume design I found in the trash can explain can explains see that's that's a weird sentence can explain what the swamp creature was doing last night is showing me smells like foggy character. The costume design I found in the trash can explains what the boggy character was doing last night. I don't get it. Seriously. The costume design I found in the trash can explains what Burl's black and white photo is showing me. My detective's intuition is kicking in. That black and white photograph, I'm not sure I'm looking at the real Boggy here. Okay. And I think these designs I found in the trash can might be the answer. Well, I'll yeah. ask around, see if anybody knows anything about this. Oh, and I should start looking for the costume itself. If I can find that, there'll be some pretty impressive evidence. It would be. Deadly disguise. Oh, wait. This happened in last episode. It must have kicked me back a little bit um, from my save game. <laughs> I have something for you. Another gift already. Where are you keeping all this stuff? You don't even have pockets in that dress. <laughs> I don't need a pocket to carry a key. What key? Oh, I don't know. You could try it on any door you like. Although, I recommend you try it on the office door. Remington's office? Mm-hmm. She's probably the sketchiest character. She knew who I was almost immediately. Um... Even though I have the key, this might not be as simple as I'd hoped. And she has a key to Remington's office? This door office? has two keyholes. So, what is she doing? I feel like she's just kind of an exposition character that's here so, to shuffle the story along. So, which key should I use in each one? But she's very sketchy. Okay. So, bottom, right? Then a top. Okay, that must not be right then. Otherwise it would click, right? So, oh dear, this is scary. Why do they all have white eyes? Hmm. An old hunting rifle, discarded carelessly near the window. That would this it... isn't the kind of thing I can ignore. But then what, what would... I guess he could have gotten scratched? Hunting memorabilia. Claws, teeth... It would be an impressive collection if it wasn't so disturbing. You got that right. <laughs> huh. 
they're, they're all so freaky. The open window looks over the wooden planks outside. Yeah, I kind of came, I, I came to that conclusion. Oh, and on one side, a part of the curtain has been ripped off. Yeah, because we listened to the sound from the video um, that uh, Vincent Vanderpeer took, and um, it sounded like somebody opened the door, Remington screamed, there was a scuffle, um, the curtain ripped, he fell outside, and then the perp went back out. But now that we've gotten into this office, I'm sure there's a lot of things I need to be clicking on. Remington's desk is covered in drawings and maps and notes. It's all about Boggy. He was obsessed. An ink bottle was spilled into his work. I'm sure he didn't do that on purpose. Yeesh, well, nobody does it's that on purpose. a bit of a mess. Perhaps there's something underneath those drawings. It's a letter Remington was writing before something caused him to spill his ink bottle. Somebody coming into My his, dear fellow, um, I received office. your note two weeks ago, but have only recently found the time to do the appropriate research on the matter. I feel like my time in this awful swamp might finally come to a close. All due to the simple realization, hmm, the rest is obscured. What a tease. <laughs> Isn't that convenient? It's a letter Remington okay. might, but I feel old, hmm. So I can't move that. I can move everything else. It's a note addressed to Richard Remington. The handwriting is immaculate. Richard, our man of the world. A little help is in order. We're worried that the efforts regarding our elusive little friend might be in vain. Send word when you can. The letter is signed FF. FF. And attached is hmm. a blurry little picture. It's some kind of metallic insect. The whole thing is a mystery. I have no idea. It's a... Okay. The letter and it's Can't move that. Vincent Vanderpeer's business card. There's a couple of numbers scribbled on the back. Can I Vincent pick it up? This Apparently not. Okay, so I'll never know what those little numbers scribbled on the back Photos and are. paintings line the wall above the fireplace, but one of the frames is empty. Wait a second. What are these pieces on the floor underneath it? This photo is ripped, but it looks important. If I can piece it together again, maybe it'll reveal a secret. Well, there's the ship captain right there. That was that's definitely him. Okay, so this is just a little puzzle. Do do do. Putting the pieces together. You don't go there, silly. Always get the corners because they're probably the easiest. There's a lot of men in this photo. Were they hunting? Or I guess that's that's not the ship captain, that's Remington, right? Yeah. But who are all these men? And are any of them this here? This photograph. And it's a young Remington. And then some other men I don't know. They're all holding rifles. Maybe I can ask Harper about it. Okay, yeah, Harper uh, was good friends with Remington for a very long time, so he would know. Headquarters, 1963. Cryptozoology. Zoology. Zoological. I, <laughs> I didn't want to say that word wrong my first go. This is the creepiest office I've ever been in. Ever. ever. Yep. This is the creep. Okay. Something happened here. Oh, there are you signs think so? of a struggle between the desk and the window. Yeah, so he was probably at his desk writing. I mean, he knew somebody was after him. This is the creepy. I have a feeling it might be done. Photos and what made us this photo? Maybe something there's. Yeah, I think I'm about done. These here. animals. They're all. They're, they're not. I don't recognize any of them. What do you mean you don't recognize them? I think that's a lion. Probably a bull. Deer. That looks like a gargoyle, so I don't know what the hell that might be. That looks like a. Bear, but not really. It looks more like a wolf. I don't know. I probably shouldn't leave until I've searched a bit. Okay, more so there's it. something more that I need. It's a sharp metal poker for a fireplace hidden in the shadows. Something about those three prongs. I feel like I just stumbled across an incredibly important piece of evidence. Okay. 
Fireplace poker hidden in Remington's office. It has three small prongs in the end, like the markings he had on his body. Okay, so that's what made the markings. I was thinking it was that tool, but apparently not. There's a small amount of dried blood on the tip of the prongs. Well, there you go. Covered in a strange liquid slime. I'm curious about what this slime is. I know the old woman was able to make it in her home because she had all the right uh, chemicals. Three prongs match up with Remington's wounds. Could this be the murder weapon? Have I uncovered a so? secret in here? Um, okay. So, broken mirror, all the suspects, those footprints. So the prong, it didn't show up. Um, explains why shouldn't it be the reason it's historical evidence that disproves that explains why um, was a ghost belonged to a secret society I don't think he, I don't think Remington belonged to a secret society was found at the crime scene murdered victim was a ghost okay so I think we can rule out secret society and ghost um, Footprint suspects doesn't really have anything to do with the space. Remington's desk, the broken broken mirror, a broken mirror. Where was that? Hmm. The hunting rifle and the hunting photo. Um. Hmm. Desk. I've actually noticed that it will make like a little ding sound when you get the right uh, train of thought happening. So let's see. The hunting photo is historical evidence that Richard Remington belonged to a secret society. I'm getting a strong feeling that hmm. Remington might be the bad guy in this story. If he wasn't already dead, I would have loved to ask him a couple of questions. I mean, I if he was around, hunting I can these large exotic animals that nobody's here. seen before, that might be why he's here in the swamp to begin with. Um, with that, I'll close off this episode. This is episode four of De Detective Grimoire. Uh, we're getting into chapter three, Richard Remington's Real Reasons. Um, so if you liked this video, go ahead, comment, uh, like, share, and definitely subscribe to us. You know, we, uh, if you enjoy our videos, we put them out about every other day, um, would love to eventually get that uh, up more often, but you know, life and school and all those th all those things happen. So we're a little bit more casual than most people, but um, definitely every other day, uh, we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to see. We'd love to get to know you, and we'd like to know that you enjoy our videos. Uh, so feel free to check any of the other playlists out. Um, again, I'm Gracie, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye.